this is Galit Goldfarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. Today, the quote of the day is, it's not selfish to love yourself, take care of yourself and to make your happiness a priority. It's necessary. This quote is by Mandy Hale. Now we are genetically coded to survive and to survive we need to be part of a group and to be part of a group we need to help others and be caring for the needs of other people and this is why as children most of us are raised to be less selfish and this is crucial for finding our place in society. However, as adults some of us may forget who we are because we are busy so busy caring for other people's needs, wants, and desires. Now, although it is important to help care for other people's needs in order for us to have enough to care for other people's needs, we also need to care for our own needs at all times and in all situations. This means that we have to find the fine line between being helpful to other people while also caring for our own needs and desires. When we care for our needs and when we are true to ourselves, we fill up our cup, so to say. And when our cup is full, we have something to give others. So being selfish is different from self-care. Being selfish means that you, the word selfish is, is negative because it comes from a place that you are not only caring for yourself, but also taking care and taking from other people's resources for your own needs and desires. And this is how I see selfishness in a negative, uh, from a negative perspective. Although you don't want to be this kind of selfish, you also don't want to be selfish, selfless. <laughs> Because we are each very important and we each have our unique qualities that are needed in the world and there is no one else like any of us in the world. And if we go on giving of ourselves to the point that our glass, our cup runs dry, we will not be able to give of our unique gifts to the people around us and we are not providing our contribution to the world. So we do want a little bit of selfishness. I remember hearing a story. It is about a man that dies and before he gets to heaven, he comes before these angels that decide what will happen to his soul after his death. Now he tells them how good of a person he was and how honest and law abiding he was. And they saw that this is true. And the angels uh, thought about it and they looked at their papers and then uh, they asked him, excuse me, but where are all the books you were supposed to write? Where are all the lectures you were supposed to give? And what about the transformation you were supposed to lead in so many people? And the man just looked at the angels and he had nothing to say. So the angels decided that he should have another chance at life and sent him back to earth as a different human being to do the work he was supposed to do to give the world. So really it is not good enough just to be a good and honest person. Yes, this is the basis of a good life and it is very important, but it is not why we came here. We each have something to add to this world and it is our responsibility to add this thing to the world. We must not all do only what is needed and required of us, but we must also do what we like and what we want to do in this life in a responsible way, of course as this will help let our light light shine through. Now, these simple things of self-love will help us become happier and this in and of itself will make the world a better place for everybody. Focus also on making yourself happy to ensure that your cup is full is very, very important. You have to honor yourself. You have talents and gifts and it is actually your responsibility to find out what those gifts and talents and passions are and to work on improving them so that you can give these precise gifts back to the world. And when you find your, your uh, skills, your contribution to life becomes tenfold and the value you provide to society will also become tenfold. And as a result, you will gain a lot, a big reward 
for your gifts as they provide more value to other people. Now, when you become more self-accepting of your needs, you will see that with time, naturally, the quality of people around you will update and uh, towards having more people around you who accept you as you are, being your true self. Now, some people around you will not like this change because they are either needy and do not want you to be more independent or they do not want you to change and grow and become more powerful. And as a result, some people will leave your life and others will take their place. And this is exactly what you want to have happen. And this will prove to you that you are headed in the right direction. I remember that after studying about the ideal diet for humans and doing my research, I went on, of course, to transforming uh, our home to a healthier home based on the principles of the ideal diet and lifestyle for humans. Now, after changing our diet and removing all of the unhealthy foods from the house, uh, uh, to be honest, my husband really didn't like that change very much. <laughs> but I saw it as my truth and I could not know all that I know and still live the same life as previously. I also changed all of the cleaning materials in the house to natural ones and all of the hygiene products in the home. And this, uh, although this change did take time, about a year and a half until it was fully in place, uh, but... Uh, this was not an easy transition for my husband and um, but it was who i had become and i could not live any differently than who i had become with time we changed courses and this is why i we got a divorce but we remained very good friends and now he did not want to live his life in a way that he did not believe in and I did not want to live my life in a way that I no longer believed in. So when we divorced, we actually became much happier. Now I hope this example from my life does not scare you towards becoming more of who you really are uh, and will not put you in a fear of divorce, but sometimes this change in yourself will lead to changes in your life but you can really trust me that these changes will make you much happier in the end a little step towards a bit of selfishness will open up your life your true life before you a uh, much higher quality of life will open up towards uh, to you and because it is based on who you really are and not the roles that society has put on you or what people are expecting of you you start taking control of your life and when you take more control of your life, although also more responsibility comes with it, you will be happier because this responsibility for your destiny, uh, which is a responsibility, is a responsibility that you definitely want to take on. So where do you begin? As always, you begin with awareness. Think of what you really like and love in life but are not giving the space in your life at the moment uh, to have this because of all sorts of reasons, which may be time, unease, or other responsibilities or, or anything really. And of course, uh, when you make any change in your life, it will require a reorganization of certain parts of your life to allow this new priority in. And this is crucial. You know what working in um, the ambulance service really showed me? I was working in the ambulance service during my uh, medical studies when I was studying medicine and uh, as uh, working as an emergency medical technician, it showed me that anyone can die on any day and you never know what can really happen to you. We have this one shot at life and we should aim to do the best we can to be the best who can, we can be and so that we can make the space around us better for everyone. Now, the next thing you can start to do is to start saying more no, I'd rather not. You can uh, not do everything and there are things that you must pass on to achieve your full potential. So start saying no to things that are less of less importance to you and less of need from you so that you can start saying more yes to things that really matter to you. Now, the next step is to commit yourself to doing something even small for you become a little little selfish about uh, and start thinking about your needs and desires and do something for yourself 
that you may be scared to do or never found the time to do it, but you should find the time now to do it. You can be both self-loving and selfless at the same time. Invest in yourself to have a higher quality of life and you can take care of others while still caring, of your, caring for your own needs at the same time. Uh, it is something that can be done and should be done. And it is start to, uh, time to start being more of your true self. And this is who the world really needs you to be. So as always with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer you get will help you move your life towards a better place for you. So the question of the day is, what can I do for me that will make me feel happier? And what do I like and want to do for me that will make me feel happier? So what can I do for, what can you do for yourself to make you feel happier? And what do you like and want to do for yourself that will make you feel happier. Now go out and do it. Once you know what it is, just do it. As usual, I recommend writing this, these questions and their answers in a notebook that you have specially for these coaching videos so that you can look over them and improve your life to a better place for you. Now the affirmation of the day is a little bit long, but it's very important and it is, I am doing the best I can for others and that is enough and I am committed to becoming my best and happiest self. I am doing the best I can for others and that is enough and I am committed to becoming my best and happiest self. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so during the day because with repetition and affirmation has the power to alter your consciousness and to bring you to where you truly want to be your subconscious mind so thank you very much for joining me here today i hope you liked this video if you did give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel i upload a coaching video almost every day and once a week i upload a health and wellness video about anything to do with health and disease to help you improve your life in all aspects so thank you very much for joining please visit my website at the gorilla diet.com for programs on weight loss health and anything to do with improving your life in a more natural way thank you very much